Remember when 9th Street between R and S in downtown Sacramento is now back open, a suspicious package for some closures and evacuations. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Christina Janes. The call came from the Democratic Party headquarters. And CBS 13's Mugo Adigwe is downtown with more on exactly what happened. Mugo? The building behind me was evacuated when that suspicious package was found. Hours later, Sacramento police say there was nothing dangerous in it, but it was still quite an ordeal for those who work here. It was a thin package and that it was addressed to uh, Tom Perez, the chairman of the Democratic Party. Frank O'Connor is a California Democratic Party volunteer. He says he was shocked to see the building evacuated Wednesday morning due to reports of a suspicious package. We hope to live in a safe and sane society and when this kind of thing happens it just reminds us of the craziness out there. Sacramento police say the call came in at 10:45 this morning. Employees inside the California Democratic headquarters came across a suspicious piece of mail. They immediately alerted the police department. Our uh, explosive ordinance detail quickly responded and they along with the FBI, the US Postal Office and the Sacramento City Fire Department were able to determine that that piece of mail was not dangerous. This comes as a flurry of suspicious packages and devices have been found in numerous cities. Just last Friday, a worker at a Sacramento postal facility found a suspicious package addressed to California Senator Kamala Harris. The senator's office said it looked similar to other packages made of explosive material that were found across the country last week. It's why Sacramento police say extra precaution is vital. With the heightened awareness, obviously, of, of you know, of suspicious packages uh, showing up everywhere. Uh, you know, we actually encourage people if they come across anything suspicious to don't hesitate and please call the police department. As for Frank, he's hoping that heightened awareness won't be necessary for too long. Just the emotion and which some people misuse that's leading up to the election. Hopefully it'll die down after the election on Tuesday. Now, police won't say what was in the package or what it looked like. They say this is still an ongoing investigation.